What would you like to talk about? Talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about. When you talk about things, you learn just what to do. Then you can talk to other people too. Do 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 do. Hi everybody, I'm Teddy Rexpin. Welcome to the Teddy. Teddy, am I glad I found you? Well, here I am. And I was just about to welcome everyone to the Teddy. I don't want to interrupt, but I'm so excited. What are you excited about, Grubby? We're in a real fire station. <laughs> well, that's what I've been trying to tell everyone, Grubby. Oh, well, you must be glad I found you then. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome to the fire station, everyone. We're going to have a great time today. Learning all about the fire station and getting to know our friend, the firefighter. Oh, I knew this was going to be good when I saw that big fire truck and the ladder and the hose and the grubby. Would you like to go along with the firefighters and watch them at work? Oh boy, would I! Well, but how, Teddy? That'd be dangerous. Well, not if we just pretend. Hey, kids. You can pretend that you're along with us too. Sounds neat. What do we do? Well, let's start out in the fire station. There sure are a lot of firefighters here. Uh huh. You know, firefighters are regular people, just like our moms and dads. What's that? That's the fire alarm, Grubby. The firefighters have to hurry and go put out a fire. Quick, get your special coat. You mean my pretend coat? Right, Grubby, and your gloves. Got 'em. And don't forget your special pants. Special pants. And boots. Boots. Helmet. Helmet. Mask. Mask. But masks can look scary, Teddy. Well, this mask is important, Grubby. It helps firefighters breathe in a smoke-filled room. Oh. Okay. And an axe. An axe. Sure. That will help firefighters knock down a door that's stuck, so the people can get out of burning rooms. Oh, all right, Teddy. Boy, I've got a lot of special stuff here. It's a good thing I've got so many hands. <laughs> I wonder how the real firefighters do it. The firefighter needs a lot of special clothes and equipment for fighting fires, just like we have special clothes and toys for playtime. But hurry now, Grubby. Let's pretend to get on the fire truck. The firefighters are ready to leave. Okie dokie. Sit down and fasten your seatbelt. Hey, Teddy, what's that loud noise? That's the fire siren, Grubby. It's like a horn on a car or a bell on a bicycle, except it's much louder. It lets people know that the fire engine is coming, so they can get out of the way. It's a good thing, Teddy, 'cause we're sure going fast. Whoa! Hey, there's another siren. That siren is coming from an ambulance. An ambulance is a special truck that takes people to the hospital when they're sick or hurt. The ambulance is coming to the fire too, just in case we need it. Hey, look, Teddy. There's the fire in that building over there. Yeah, I see it too, Grubby. There go the firefighters. They're getting the fire hose and spraying water all over the fire. That'll help put it out. Wow, they work fast. Uh huh. Uh oh, I see some people up there who need help. How can the firefighters get all the way up there? With the fire ladder. It takes firefighters way up high so they can reach people and bring them to safety. See, they're climbing the ladder, Grubby. I wonder how the fire started. I hope it wasn't children playing with matches, 'cause that can be bad. That sure can be bad. We should never play with matches or start fires of any kind. Hooray! They brought the people down to safety. And the fire is out! Yay! Aren't firefighters amazing, Grubby? I'll say. Maybe someday I'll be a great firefighter too. But in the meantime, can I take all this pretend firefighter stuff off? It's pretty heavy. Even in my imagination. In a moment, Grubby. Let's imagine something else. Pretend to look in a mirror. Okay, I'm pretending. Whoa! What? What's that? That's you, Grubby. Oh, 
Oh, uh, but I don't look like me. I'm all covered up, and I look kind of scary. Well, don't worry, Grubby. A firefighter's clothes may be strange looking to us, but remember, they keep the firefighters safe from fire. Oh, I get it. They wear the big coat, pants, gloves, and boots to protect them from the fire so they won't get burned. That's right, Grubby. It's just like when moms and dads use pot holders when they're around hot things in the kitchen, and the firefighters wear those big hats or helmets to protect their heads. Oh, like when kids wear helmets when they play rough games like football or hockey. That's right. You see, underneath all that special clothing, you're still the same old lovable octopede, my friend Grubby. Oh, thanks, Teddy. I can't really see myself, but I think I'm blushing. <laughs> so, if you ever see a firefighter all dressed up, remember, underneath all that strange clothing is someone who cares about you and wants to help you. And that someone is your friend, the firefighter. Who can you count on whenever fire's blazing? Who is always there doing things that are amazing? Who is someone who cares about you a lot? The person who is there whenever things get really hot. Firefighter, fighter. You'd better call someone firefighter, fighter, firefighter, fighter, fighter. Take it, Grubby. I am brave and I am strong, at least I can't pretend. But when the fire's real, I'm glad the firefighter is my friend. Firefighters can protect you, keep you from harm, and come to the rescue when they sound the alarm. Aren't you forgetting one little thing? What's that, Grubby? Me. I'm still wearing all this pretend firefighter stuff. <laughs> oh, well, you can take it off now, Grubby. Thanks, Teddy. And I think it's time for us to take off, too. <laughs> right, Grubby. Just remember, everyone, if you ever have any questions about fire safety, talk about it with your mom, dad, or teacher. You can even talk about it right here with your friend, the firefighter. Hail fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> Fire safety. 
went. Would you like to talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about, when you talk about safety right in your home, the family you help is your very own. What would you like to talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about, when you talk about things you learn just what to do, then you can talk to other people too. One of the most important things to talk about is fire. Oh, fire is scary. But if you talk about the things to do to be prepared, yeah. you won't be scared. Good. What would you like to talk about? Talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about. When you talk about things, you learn just what to do. Then you can talk to other people too. Do 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 do. Well, right now, we're going to talk about fire. Fire? Fire can be scary, Teddy. Yes, it can, Grubby. But did you also know that fire can help us? It can? Sure, Grubby. You know, like campfires and fireplaces that keep us warm on cold winter nights. Oh, or the fire in the barbecue that cooks our food. That's right, Grubby. <laughs> hey, Teddy. I just thought of the best fire of all. The fire that's on the candles on my birthday cake. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yes, my birthday day has rolled around again. Grubby, it's not your birthday. Oh, yeah. Oops. But candles are a good idea, Grubby. And they sure are fun to blow out. But it's important to know that if we get too close to a fire, too close to a barbecue, or too close to candles, then our clothes might catch fire. We should get down and roll. Get down and roll? <laughs> Sounds like a great dance. Let's try it, Teddy. <laughs> Wait, Grubby. It's not exactly a dance. It's what our friend the firefighter told us, remember? If your clothes ever catch on fire, you should get down, flat on the ground, and cover your face with your hands and then roll until all the flames are out. Oh, yeah, I remember. If your clothes catch on fire, you should get down flat on the ground and cover your face with your hands and then roll until all the flames are out. Yep, that's it. <laughs> get down and roll. But I still think it makes a great dance. It's the latest craze that's been around for days. It's the get down and roll rock. Yeah! It's a cinch to do, and it's important, too. It's the get down and roll rock. So gather round. It's the newest step in town. And we are going to tell you how to do the get down and roll rock. The get down and roll rock. If your clothes catch fire, stop right where you are. Get down on the ground and roll around and around. Back and forth, left and right, round and round, back and forth. Okay, left and right, Grubby, round and round, I think back that's and enough. Forth, left and right. It's the latest craze that's been around for days. It's the get down and roll rock. It's a cinch to do and it's important too. It's the get down and roll rock. So gather round. It's the new step in town. And you know you can do it too. Forget down and roll rock. Forget down and roll rock. It's a thing we need to think about. So we're really sure without a doubt how to pull the fire out. And that's, that's why we should talk about the get down and roll rock. Yeah! The get down and roll rock. Uh -huh. The get down and roll rock. The get down and roll rock. Quite a dance, Grubby. Yep, but it's also a great way to remember what to do if your clothes catch on fire. That's right, Grubby. You know, another good way to remember what to do is to practice. So right now, our friends are going to practice getting down and rolling. Oh, good. That'll give us some time to rest. That get down and roll dance made my feet tired. <laughs> and I do have a lot of them. <laughs> well, have fun practicing, everyone. Yeah, and we'll have fun resting. Hi, everyone. It's 
me again, Teddy Ruxpin. And it's me too, Grubby. We have more to tell you about fire safety. Yeah, so let's talk about it. What would you like to talk about? Talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about. When you talk about safety right in your home, the family you help is your very own. What would you like to talk about? Talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about. When you talk about things, you learn just what to do. Then you can talk to other people too. One of the most important things to talk about is fire. Oh, fire is scary. But if you talk about the things to do to be prepared, yeah. you won't be scared. Good. What would you like to talk about? Talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about. When you talk about things, you'll learn just what to do. Then you can talk to other people too. Do 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 do. I like that talk about song, Teddy. Can we sing it again? Sure, Grubby. A little later, and maybe then our new friends will sing it with us. But right now, I'd like to tell a story. It's about the time our friend, Newton Gimmick, baked cookies for us. And how I learned about burns the hard way. It all started in Gimmick's kitchen. Grubby and I watched Gimmick mix the dough, cut the cookies into shapes, and very carefully put them into the oven. Then, Gimmick had to go out. He told us he'd be right back. And so, we waited. Hey, can we watch the cookies bake, Teddy? Sure, Grubby, but let's not get too close to the oven. The oven is very hot, and hot things can burn. They can? Sure, Grubby. There are a lot of hot things. Like the oven? Uh-huh. There are stoves and radiators. Oh, yeah. And candles and irons. You've got it, Grubby. And if you touch a very hot thing, you can get burned. And that really hurts. Oh, well, I don't want to get burned, so I'll be careful. Grubby and I were careful and stood far away from the oven. We were happy. We could still see the cookies baking inside. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. The cookies look delicious. <laughs> Are they ready yet, Teddy? Not yet, Grubby. Oh, when, Teddy, when? Pretty soon, Grubby. We just have to wait until Gimmick gets back. Till Gimmick gets back? I'm starving. Well, Grubby was so hungry, he couldn't wait any longer. So he opened the oven door and reached in to pull out a cookie. Wow! Grubby! Oh, Grubby! Uh, here, quick, come with me! Grubby had burned his hand. I took him over to the sink. Then I turned on the cool water and let it run over Grubby's hand. Oh, that feels better, Teddy. The cool water helped to stop Grubby's hurt. Oh, Teddy, I think I burned myself. Yes, you did, Grubby. Are you all right? Well, it still hurts a little, Teddy, but the cool water makes it feel a lot better. In a little while, Grubby's hand was better. Then Gimmick came back. He was very careful to use a pot holder when he took the cookies out of the oven. We waited for them to cool. When the cookies were ready, we ate them. Mmm, mmm, these are yummy. Mmm, yes they are, Grubby. I'm glad Gimmick baked them for us. Yeah, and I'm glad you knew what to do when I burn myself. Thanks. Sure, Grubby. Let's remember to always put cool water on a burn. That's what our friend, the firefighter, told us. Hey, Teddy, I've got a great way to remember what to do. You do? Uh-huh. Listen to this. <clears throat> if you get burned, just cool it. <laughs> That's good, Grubby. <laughs> what do you do if you get a burn, you just cool it. I cool it? That's right. Cool water is the way that you should learn to cool it. Just cool it. If the water's too hot, when you get into the tub, uh -huh. then that's no time to rub a dub 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 That's dub, right. Dub, dub. Cool, cool water is the thing I'm thinking of to cool it. Just cool it. If your hand touches something very hot, 
And it really burns your skin. What then? Some cool water will help a lot. So put your hand right in cool water. What do you do? If you get a burn, you just cool it. Yup, you cool it. Uh -huh. Cool water's the way that you should learn to cool it. Just cool, cool it. Take it, Teddy. If you get burned by some hot things or a flame, water will help to stop the pain. So watch that pain right down the drain. And cool it. Just cool it. What do you do? Cool it. Everybody. Cool it. Come on, Grubby. Okay. Cool it. Now real quiet this time. How about a big finish? Okay. Cool it. That was great, everybody. Yeah, that was fun. Now, I know you've all touched cool water before. Can you remember what it feels like? It sure can feel nice. And especially nice if you have a burn. So now it's time for you to practice using cool water on a burn. Or on a friend's burn. We'll see you again soon. Now go ahead and cool, cool it. it! Did you cool it, everyone? I think they did a great job, Teddy. I think so, too. Well, we've enjoyed being with you today and helping you learn about fire safety. And remember, if you have any questions about fire safety, just talk about it. That's right, Grubby. Uh, Teddy, don't you think this would be a good time to sing that Talk About song again? Oh, yes I do, Grubby. Oh, boy. Sing with us, everyone. What would you like to talk about? Talk about, talk about, talk about, talk about. When you talk about things, you'll learn just what to do. Then you can talk to other people too. Do, 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 do. Well, we hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye, everyone, and thanks. Goodbye.